everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? You all right? That is great. It has been a very long time. It has been a while. I think it's been like five or six months or something like that. I had so many videos I filmed and I just didn't edit them and post them. So you may or may not see some random videos from this past year. It depends whether I decide to upload them or not, you never know, I might do or might not, but yeah, I have turquoise hair now, if you couldn't see already, so, I swear to god every time I pick up my camera my hair is different, but you just, you yeah, air that, so, this video is going to be about something that you guys may or may not know about, some of you might know, some of you might not know. We have three horses now. So this video is going to be about our new little addition, the family, so without any further ado, we'll just get straight into it and I'll explain on the way. So, back in February sort of time um, we started looking for a companion for Carly um, just because obviously our horses um, Jolie and Carly aren't allowed in the same field together because um, they get very possessive over food and then it ends up in a big fight and we've had many injuries because of that which is not so good so we were looking for a companion because Jolie's fine when she's in a field on her own, but Carly, not so much. So we thought that's fine. We'll look for a companion for her. And we weren't too sure what to do really, whether to have one sort of on loan or buy one or have more of like an older sort of companion. We weren't too sure what we were doing. So, um, we came up with an idea because we literally just could not find anything anywhere so we came up with the idea of getting a rescue so we have been looking everywhere because we weren't too sure what sort of companion we wanted whether we just wanted sort of more of an older horse that would just literally obviously unfortunately be a field ornament or we were going to try and find one that was sort of like a project to bring on. Um, but you don't really get that so much with... Um, they're really hard to find. They are very hard to find. But um, yes, yeah, so we weren't to 100% sure. So we went to a horse rescue welfare centre um, to look at a couple of them. I think we might have looked at like three or something. Um, and there was one in particular that we really, really liked, and um, she was a little 13 hand cob, I think, I'm not too sure. Um, and she was being um, advertised as sort of a, a project to break in, and she'd done like basic handling and things like that. So we thought, like, we'll go through a bit, things like that. So um, then we got the vet out and everything was literally perfect. We really liked her. She had a really nice personality about her. Um, but the only problem is, is she did have quite pale gums. Um, and they weren't too sure what it actually was. And the vet said... Um, if they were going to find out exactly what was causing it they would have to go into a lot more specific tests for that sort of thing and we'd have to pay for it um, and we'd have to get our own vet to do it and things like that so we weren't too sure what to do because um, throughout all of this her gums sort of First they were pale, then they were getting better, and then it sort of just went downhill again. It was sort of a forward and back sort of thing. Like, it was good and then it wasn't, and we just didn't really know what to do, so we sort of asked our vet about it. And we all came to decision, decision that um, it wasn't the greatest thing to do. So after about 
I don't know, it might have been two months of umming and ahhing what we were doing and looking and going to see ponies and sort of just didn't, we weren't too sure what we were doing. We just decided to, um, I don't know, we just sort of decided to give it a rest for a little bit, um, just see how Carly got on sort of thing because um, I started taking her out to quite a few jumping competitions and things like that um so she wasn't left alone so much um in the field so then after a while um we then came across um a place called red wings um and they have quite a few rescuing centers across england and the uk um so we looked around on there and we did find a pony which was really good after all of that time of messing about and things like that we did actually find one um yeah so it's very happy about it we've um now had her we found her in march got her in april so we've had her quite a long time because it is july right now so it's been a very long time but um yeah i'll go get her and we'll go see her okay so she is um a little 13 to welsh cross not 100 percent sure because it's unknown what she's crossed with um, and her name is Scarlett, so we'll just go in to go and see her. Here is our new little addition. This is Scarlett. Hi. Hello. We've just started doing some things with her um, in a process because we are going to be breaking her in this summer, which is very exciting. So we have been... Um, doing lunging, long raining, um, I've been laying across her back quite a little bit and then we've also been sort of leading her up and down the road with the other horses just sort of getting her used to going out and things and then we'll um, start sitting on her and doing some other things with her. Hello. Loving the sun at the minute with her fly mask on, doesn't she? Oh, oh, thank you, Carly. She looks very, very beautiful in her little fly mask. Do you want to say, everyone? She's very close. We're just going to bring both the horses in. Jolie's back there somewhere. God knows where. Um, we're just bringing both of the horses in to go and groom them, and then we're going to take them out. Um, just sort of like walking down the road just to get the pony sort of used to everything and obviously Carly's fun in traffic so we just thought she's the best one out of all of them you see Jolie and I fly mask down there um, yeah she's really good in traffic so we just thought she's probably the best one to show the pony the ropes
my darling. Jeez. <laughs> oh, hello. She's not interested. She's more interested in the pony over there. Oh, yeah. Is that your little new friend? They get on very, very well and they have a little, little nice connection. Don't they? Yeah. They've been getting on very, very well, which is good. Because she doesn't always get on with other horses. She likes a good old kick in the field, which is the case with Carly and Jolie. But, um, yeah, she's alright with the little other one, so we're all good. It's all gone really well so far. got back and she was really 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 good we every so often we just stopped and uh, looked at things took it in our own stride but she took everything really really well so so i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me sort of showing you scarlet our new little addition i will hopefully be posting a lot more and i will try and get the videos that i filmed um a couple months ago out to you guys and so i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one